the common question in the medical field, other than the usual, all lawyers get asked, how can you defend someone who you believe is guilty? The common questions that GPs are interested in are how to manage a, an unhappy relationship with their patient and whether they can end that relationship. They are concerned about waiting lists. And I note that the government is officially saying about 25% of patients are referred back. GPs report to me the numbers are higher. And they're concerned about what to do about their patients while they're waiting to be seen. And then what to do if the patients are referred back in circumstances where the GP feels that they need specialist care. The other issue that's big at the moment is when patients are seen by the specialist and referred back on specialist only medication, how is the GP going to manage that when they feel that it's specialist only medication because it's meant to be managed by a specialist? A number of big changes. Um, in terms of the complaints process that doctors are under, I see less of a professional voice in it, that it's more lawyer driven. And I feel that's a great shame because there's such value in being judged by those people who have walked in your shoes or at least can understand what it is like to be in your shoes. Some other big changes though, I notice that now with student debt you can see that is impacting on doctors and the pressures on them in their practice in ways that aren't always ideal. I notice more employee doctors and with that comes a, a greater bureaucracy around responding to complaints which uh, means that sometimes they're dealt with very well but sometimes we lose sight of the easy solution for things. From what they tell me that there's less pressures in being an employee, you don't have all those legal issues and problems of business and a debt of a business on top of everything else. I would like to see the profession having more of a voice and accountability processes so that we can start looking at what is realistic and what can be delivered. I would like to see uh, a greater integration like there was in the old days, a terrible thing to say, between GPs and specialists. My sense is that there's less picking up the phone, less going to ground rounds, less of that interaction with greater separation. And I would like to see that we see ourselves as New Zealand rather than separate parts of New Zealand so that patients have a seamless ability to access care as New Zealanders rather than dependent upon where they live and GPs have that sort of support too in terms of the places they can send their patients to for help. I think GPs need to know firstly that they are in a, a safe work environment that is supportive, that they're not alone and they can pick up the phone and share a bad day and get support but constructive advice. Isolation is a, a very damaging thing for GPs. It's okay to seek help and to actually talk about cases when they go wrong. In fact, it's very healthy to do so rather than keeping it as a deep dark secret. Secondly, GPs need to know that their voice and their views are respected so that if they are referring patients they are trusted to have a good reason and if they're being sent back there should be some reason so that they can better understand or better be helped to help their patients. And thirdly I think that GPs need to know that they'll be supportive if something goes wrong and judged fairly. They have rights in a patient-doctor health environment and so they have rights to make sure the way they are practicing is safe. So if they feel they need a chaperone, even though it's expensive, they should have one. If they feel they need more time for the notes, do so. If they feel they need more time with the patient, arrange another appointment. Don't be forever compromising things that make them unsafe and ultimately their patients. We need to be more patient-centric in the way that we practice and helping general practitioners with that, particularly when a number of them are very pressured in the amount of time they can spare for each patient.